functional component functional component is nothing but it's just a function but when talking about component it should be written as html blocks so that's the thing in generally functional component is not uh, is not have its own state uh, we, we need to maintain our uh, state with, uh, with the help of other hooks uh, in, in the other hand uh, functional components are also called as a dumb component or uh, stateless components and uh, in the react lifecycle hook methods cannot be used in the functional components because it's just a function so there is no lifecycle for a function so that's what these kind of methods is not uh, is not available for the function but if we need life cycles for functional component at that time we can achieve uh, with the help of hooks so we will we will uh, deep dive into hooks in a separate session so just uh, we just noted the uh, keyword called hooks there are plenty of hooks available for the functional components which will help us to uh, replicate the class components so there are uh, multiple functionalities here like uh, we need to store something in the state um, and we need to handle the life cycle methods we need to we need to take the reference from the html and we need to use the uh, the entire application context so everybody uh, these uh, these all are the uh, example of hooks those thing only available for functional components not for class component and uh, in functional component uh, there is no render method uh, because this is a just a function we are customized that and we are building the html and we are written back to the <coughs> particular record a uh, particular calling to uh, place so i just uh, show something how to create a functional component <coughs> so as usual in the source directory i am going to create a new directory called components so inside that we are going to create function component or js so i hope everybody installed the extensions uh, which are i uh, suggested yesterday right i hope you so i just going to use the same uh, extension for the short run things so react create function component so <clears throat> this is a basic structure it looks like a normal function so within the function uh, there is a return statement this will help us to return what are the uh, things available inside the function so inside the return statements we are uh, creating a, a dummy div tag so there is a function component uh, some strings there so uh okay we will at the same time i will run this application <coughs> side by side okay so this is a sample function component how to call this component okay and another rule fun uh, when we are going to uh, naming a components at that time we need to do uh with a uh, camel keys uh sorry pascal keys so here the function component so should be like this and if you want to use the same thing uh in other places so this what yesterday we did it's just a testing uh which is available in the app.js here we can see right if you want to use the same component which uh, this functional component and other places like uh, in the advert js file we just need to call the function name and within the tag symbol so we can use tag symbol like this or we can do like this so hello. both the things will return the same hello yeah you are ready yeah i am to can you just uh, increase the font size a bit yeah thanks are able to see now yeah great so as i told we are creating the functional component we just uh, uh, it's a simple functional component and i told the naming convention name uh, uh, each and every component should be in the pascal keys so that's what in the first letter is capital when we have this, uh, two words in the uh, in the name uh, we should be uh, that particular first letter should be the capital so this is pascal keys and uh, if you want to use this component in somewhere at that time uh, we can use like this so and we need to import the particular component in the top of the import section right so here we are importing the function component and we are using that to use the components we can do in two different ways we can use like this as a normal html tags or else we can use shorthand like this 
this is functional component we are using it's just a component name and i just save it and go back to the browser you can see the functional component whatever we did so after that whatever we are doing here everything will be available here automatically updated and if you want the same component two times in a page then you can directly copy and paste you don't need to import multiple times because you are, you are already import uh, if you import multiple times it will throw error so if you copy and paste then it will show the two different things uh, this will help you to do uh, the same operation again and again for example uh, if you want to show some list of uh, categories but each category say have a number of options at that time you need to pause uh, categories uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to create a own html for the categories and the options you can create a separate component you need to pass the data to the component and you can visualize that so we will see how to pass the data from one component to another component so those kind of things today we are, i'm going to cover so uh, we focus on that if you have any questions whenever i get uh, i give us some time at that time you can ask okay so this is a functional component it's pretty straightforward uh, the name the keyword function after that the pascal case naming convention for the functional component inside that the return statement is will return uh, the html blocks after that you need to export the particular component here uh, we, we are using export default and the function name so that's all so each and every component we need to uh, use this because this is a react application so with the help of this react uh, it will support the particular component what it need to be what uh, it will work how the hooks are to be import so everything will handle from the react package so back to the slide so i hope everybody understood functional component it's just a pretty straightforward as a function